Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a work week in my life. Let's do this thing. This is like my first normal work week of the year because I'm not like in quarantine or like recovering or something. So I'm really excited to just start tackling all of my goals this week and really go head first into everything. If you're new, I'm Lucia, I'm 24. I live in Chicago and I work in advertising. I was gonna go into the office today, but because I have a goal of going in on like Tuesdays and Thursdays in the new year when I'm in town, but it's currently negative three. And I would already be in the office today if I was like, going in and I just wanted to be kinder to myself especially my skin since my skin is still healing I make it on Thursday because the low is 14 which honestly seems so much warmer than it is today because it is but yeah I'm just trying to minimize my time outside today I have a dinner tonight and I'm just gonna like Uber and be outside for like five seconds because I just like I can't handle this but yeah it is crazy cold in Chicago nothing new it's been crazy cold the past few vlogs but just thought I would update you guys that it's still insane I have a call in about 30 minutes and then I have another call back to back right after that I'm getting a little bit of a late start so I'm going to probably do like my whole routine make like my mantra do my words of affirmations and everything after both of those calls and for now we're just gonna get organized I have a bunch of emails I want to go through because I was out yesterday because it was MLK day so it's a short week but we got a lot to do this week and I'm feeling motivated I'm feeling excited so it's gonna be a good one let's get to it finished my team status call. I totally forgot to update you guys and now I'm hopping on to a supplier call. done with the call it ended early which is a slay and it was super productive had a good morning i feel like very organized i know my to-do list for the day i got some stuff off my to-do list i'm feeling great and i'm gonna go make matcha have a banana and then do my affirmations and stuff have a little morning now toss me a banana what <laughs> toss me a banana <laughs> good catch <laughs> The matcha is made, and she is beauty. This matcha is so good. I feel like I finally figured out a good recipe. done with affirmations. The Daily Stoic was talking about how you shouldn't just do things just because it's the way things have always been done and to be more intentional. So it's like a good little reflection. 
I got matcha on me. Literally every time I make matcha, I get it on me. I need to figure that out. All right, guys, I'm done with my affirmations. Also done with my matcha. Sad. And I'm gonna go down to the common space in my apartment building, actually. Hopefully it's warmer down there and grind out a few like heads down work things I need to do. I need to do this Excel analysis and create some support tickets and just like a lot of stuff like that. That's gonna take like some good focus time. So I'm gonna get my AirPods and go down there and just grind that out for a little bit. By a little bit, I mean like a couple hours. <laughs> I'll be back from a productive work sesh downstairs and I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm gonna do an avocado bagel and then some yogurt on the side. Lunch is ready. Time to put on an episode of Friends. This looks so good. Lunch break over, I made some afternoon tea just because I'm still freezing, you guys. I don't think it's possible for me to get warm in these crazy temperatures. Good thing though, there's like a lot of sunlight coming into my apartment right now. Thank God it's still sunny and not like overcast with these crazy temperatures. But I'm gonna get a little walk in. I haven't pulled out my walking pad all year, but I have a goal of just like walking more when I'm working from home. Oh, and I actually, so I got this ankle strap for my apple watch so i'm curious to see how this works so i can actually track my steps when i'm walking on the walking pad because my arms aren't like swinging because it's not that type of walk and i'm like obviously on my computer so It took forever, but we got it on. So I'm just gonna put indoor walk. Yay, let's test it out. I'm gonna pull out the walking pad. Let's start the walking pad. This is so exciting. So it'll go. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna work on this Excel analysis that I need to have done by end of day. And the work day is over in two hours. So I should be able to finish it in about an hour, honestly, that's the plan. And then I'll have some time to work on a few other things that aren't like as pertinent.
Okay, I'm a little annoyed because my little tracker system didn't work at all. So I've been walking for the past like hour and I have no idea how many steps or miles or anything. So I'm a little annoyed, but it's okay. We persevere and it took me a little bit longer than I thought. Um, so now I have about 30 minutes till my yoga class and I'm gonna try to get one thing done before then. Okay, I'm done with work. It's time to go bundle up. I just changed into my hot yoga outfit even though I look the exact same. But time to bundle up and break the outdoors and go to hot yoga. Good thing is that it's gonna be really hot once I get there. So we have that to look forward to the entire time. yoga was amazing i already downed my protein shake i need to hop into a really quick shower thank god the hot water is fixed even though like i did hot yoga like i'm already freezing just from being outside in the one degree weather right after but yeah gonna hop in a quick shower i need to be ready to go to my dinner tonight i'm going to dinner with my friend gian who's also a chicago content creator in like an hour so i need to be ready or no in an hour and a half but i need to be ready in about an hour so i can like call my uber and stuff let's shower All showered. I'm trying to pick out an outfit. I kind of want to do like a sort of thigh high boot look with tights. And I have this kind of cream sweater that I think it'd be so cute with, but I'm not sure if it's long enough. So let's try it on. the fit is ready very just like chill and cozy because those are the vibes for tonight but i ended up changing into this gray sweater instead because the cream sweater was a little bit too short um but i did end up putting on a skirt anyway because the like slits here like i need to have something underneath <laughs> then i'm wearing my thigh high boots very cute and cozy i think i'm like should i add a belt to like cinch it a little bit but i don't know We'll see. We're going to Sapori Trattori. Gotta say that in my Italian accent. Sapori Trattori. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm excited. It's like the perfect day for some good warm Italian foods. It's, it's so cold outside. So let's go. Okay, I actually decided to change into this black sweater. I don't know. I just felt like it, the other one was like way too oversized and I wasn't feeling it. So just a simple little black sweater now. Did my skincare and about to go to sleep. It was such a nice night, such a fun dinner with Jian. We just had a good time catching up about everything. And the dinner was amazing at Sapori Trattori. I hope I'm saying it right. Yeah, I got risotto, which was amazing. The salad was good. And the dessert was like insane. It was like a cheesy, like cream based thing with mangoes and walnuts, mint. It was so good. It was like Michelin level dessert vibes and i'm gonna go to sleep i'm like so bloated now <laughs> i ate too much of the dessert good 
Good morning, guys. Cheers. It is Wednesday now. I'm so tired. I woke up late and I did put my standing desk down last night and I cannot stand for this first call. I have some early meetings. And I gotta put up this treadmill. <laughs> okay, perfect. I just had a little banana as my breakfast. I feel so bloated from my dinner last night. I don't know if this coffee cleanse I'm going on is working, but I'm just gonna write it out because I know like things don't happen in just like two days of not having coffee. So we're just gonna see, but this matcha is really good. <laughs> if I end up not doing like no coffee forever, I'd love to just like keep doing matcha as like an afternoon thing. Cause I never thought I could really make it at home. It seems so difficult, but it is literally the easiest thing ever. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop on this call. I'm not leading it. I'm more so just kind of like listening in and might have to offer like a few opinions and stuff. Off my calls, I had two back-to-back -back ones. Now it's time to get some work done. Okay, my groceries came, so I'm gonna unbox those real quick. All right, little unboxing. We got my favorite dairy-free yogurts. Some fruit, blueberries, avocados, a lot of avocados, bananas. This is like my favorite little morning snack these days. Apples, almond milk, because I've been using so much for both my protein shakes, making them at home, and then also my matcha lattes. Also just like coffee if I end up going back to coffee. I don't know you guys. And then some strawberries. So just the basics. Gonna put them in the fridge now. I was supposed to have a training right now, but there's like a huge tech issue going on at my company and we can't access like anything, like we all got logged out. So I made myself a little lunch as a snack before I do my lunchtime workout. And I'm trying to get some stuff done like offline for work that I can actually do. All right, I'm getting ready to go to my workout class. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed trying to fit in a workout class <laughs> during my lunch, but work is kind of on pause right now since we're having so many tech issues shoes and so many of my calls were canceled it's not gonna be as stressful as it usually is i just i couldn't fit it in this morning i just like i need to start waking up earlier it's just so hard for me in the winter when it's so freezing outside i'm like so good at being an early riser in the summer and i think i just got on this weird routine when i was like quarantining from my skin treatment and from sleeping in so much over the holidays that it's just gonna take a second to get back into my usual routine but anyway it works out today that i can just go during lunch i can't go after work because i have my first day of my acting class tonight i signed up for another acting class i did one in the fall that was like a film-based class and it was okay, it definitely wasn't my favorite experience because it was a lot of like sitting around. But I chose this new acting studio that I'm gonna go to and it's more like, just like up and like 
doing exercises the entire time, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm really excited about it. I don't know, I'm not nervous. I feel like I'm like too busy to be nervous about stuff. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like whenever I'm busy, I have like no anxiety because I'm like, I don't have time to like overthink anything like i'm not nervous for the class i'm just like when it comes it comes and we'll figure it out if that makes sense i brush my teeth add another layer of lotion on since my skin is still very dry from my treatment we're doing a power flow class it's like yoga sorry this is like gross i'm gonna stop vlogging in a second but it's like yoga with cardio bursts and whatever okay bye <laughs> We all showered and back to logging back onto the work day. Good news is that during my break, all of the tech issues were fixed. So I can log back on as normal, hopefully. Fingers crossed, I don't wanna jinx anything. The day has flown by, it's already 1.15. But the workout was amazing. It was a good little break in the day. Had my protein and greens. And now we're gonna get some stuff done for the last few hours of the work day. My acting class is at six, six to nine. So we got a busy day ahead of us. I just cranked out two hours of work and now I'm ready for a snack, but I think I'm just gonna have my like leftovers from dinner. Last night, so it's 4 p.m. now and I have my class at six. So I'm just gonna like have that to tide me over until I get back at nighttime, but I'll probably bring a snack to have in like the break of the class. I don't know, it's so hard to like plan my eating schedule around this class. Also, I feel like I, I didn't have like a huge lunch, so I'm already hungry. So we're gonna heat up some risotto and salad. Well, I'm not gonna eat up the salad, don't worry. Anyway, got my leftover risotto and side salad. So yummy. Okay, it's 5.15, I ate, finished up a few work things, and I'm just getting ready to leave for my acting class. I need to leave pretty soon. 6 p.m. comes up fast, it really does. I'm like, oh wait, I need to log off and start getting ready. I'm just gonna put on some tinted moisturizer. Nothing too crazy, just to like smooth out like redness on my skin and then probably put my hair in like a headband or something that's like my go-to uh but they said to be dressed to like move and sweat so i'm just gonna wear this hoodie and leggings like i've been wearing all day i'm gonna light roll it though i'm excited i really don't have too much anxiety like i was saying earlier i'm just like very curious how it will run like who all is in the class and like do i know anyone like i just have no idea so i am interested to see see the space should be good. I'll try not really moisturize my skin to go outside in the cold again. I just feel like all this makeup is gonna come off anyway when I'm walking outside. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna put on some mascara. I've been wearing mascara like every day since I was like 11. <laughs> so it just feels weird when I'm not. Okay, done with the look. It was kind of a crazy day with all of the tech issues, so I feel like it wasn't as productive at work as I was hoping to be today. So I might end up like waking up early tomorrow. And, like, I just hate the feeling of being behind, and I totally would work later today, but I obviously have my class that I signed up for, so. Putting on headbands after you already do your makeup is so <laughs> treacherous. <laughs> like, I don't want to get makeup on my headband, but it's inevitable. I gotta try to wipe off this makeup. Yeah, it worked. Okay, time to bundle up and go.
I am back from my acting class. It was a really good class. I really like it. I can just tell it's gonna be super helpful and just like fun and like exciting way to like finish my days. It's twice a week for three hours each. So it's like honestly a huge time commitment, six hours a week plus like getting there came back and all that stuff and it just like re-energized me in like a fun way and like you're up doing exercises the whole time which i just really like it's so different from the acting class i took in the fall that was all about like just sitting there hearing people talk and like watching tapes and stuff it's more interactive and just like fun and helpful and just like forces you to put yourself out there and like be brave and all that stuff and just reminds me of like acting classes i took like growing up like every single week of my life so yeah it's so fun i'm very excited about it our homework is to spend at least 20 minutes a day just like observing people which means i need to like get out of the house like alone take myself on some solo dates to some coffee shops or something so yeah that's what our homework is till our next class next week so yeah i'm excited for this new chapter of my life and to be taking another class it's gonna be fun <laughs> i'm gonna do my skincare and get ready for bed and maybe get some reading in update i just had some chamomile tea i've been trying to have this every night before bed if i remember i feel like that is really soothing for the gut i'm like way too obsessed with my gut health you guys but like <laughs> We do what we gotta do. And then I just planned my day for tomorrow. I'm gonna do another lunchtime workout just because I have a lot of things I actually need to prep for like a morning call at 11.30 that I'm a bit behind on. So I just wanna like get straight to work in the morning. But I'm gonna brush my teeth and turn on the dishwasher and then read this book in bed until i fall asleep it's a good book so far i mean i've read like 10 pages because <laughs> i feel like i keep on reading it right before bed and it's not the type of book where it's like a page turner because it's like non-fiction and like it's not going to keep me up at night which is good so <laughs> that's the rest of my night i'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning guys, did my skincare, made myself my daily matcha, so nice and warm. And I'm gonna go crank out some work this morning, bright and early, in the common space to really focus. So let's go, happy Thursday. Had a productive couple of hours downstairs. I made some slides, got started on an Excel analysis and checked my emails. And I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna make an avocado bagel. guys i'm done with my snack and now i'm hopping on to a quick call little one-to-one -one. hi Done with my call, super quick and easy, and I'm gonna send a little follow-up email right now. Okay, I'm done for the time being. I'm gonna take my lunch break and get ready to go to my vinyasa flow class. I love a lunchtime flow.
All right, we're all showered. I've been getting some stuff done and I'm gonna quickly set up my standing desk for this all hands call that I have. Ugh. I need to get like pads underneath this chair. It stresses me out. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I changed and put on some makeup. I just have to send one email and then I'm done for the day. Had a good little walking pad moment. Okay, we done for the day. Love to see it. And I'm gonna work on some social media stuff before I need to leave for an event I'm going to. I totally forgot to update you guys before I left, but I'm going to this networking event that I got invited to by a PR company. And it's also in partnership with this like non-alcoholic brand that I'm excited to learn more about. So that's where we're headed. <laughs> I was like racing to catch the bus. Home. I've been back home for a couple hours. I've just been like chatting, editing some videos, just relaxing, honestly. I was planning on going into the office tomorrow, but I just like don't have my shit together enough to go tomorrow. And it's also just like hard going on a Friday and I'm not required to go. Like I don't have to go, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I feel like that'll just make me feel so much less stress tomorrow and also just like be more productive and not have to like get ready and all that stuff so i'm not going to the office tomorrow but i wanted to talk about the event i went to i didn't even have time to tell you guys where i was going because i was like racing to catch the bus right after i got ready but i went to this event with the monday girl i think they were looking for like content creators to come to the event just to like generate more buzz about like monday girl being in chicago basically monday girl is like this networking company that like connects women and like careers and like a lot of different ways they have like a mentorship program and stuff but they also host a lot of networking events with like panels so they were hosting this in partnership with foxtrot it was at foxtrot's headquarters um in downtown chicago also with this non-alcoholic brand called barbette and you guys know me i'm doing dry january the event was kind of like themed around dry january it's just fun so it was really cool there was a panel where these really inspiring women leaders spoke about just like their career and what they've learned and advice oh also i like ran into other creators i knew and another girl that i know from a book club i'm in so it was just fun to like run into people that i know i just like i feel like now that i'm more settled in chicago i like this happens to me more and more when i go places i just like i know more people which is always a good feeling makes you feel like truly connected and like settled in the city yeah i had this realization on the way back because i was like i feel like i wasn't super prepared for the networking event like i didn't go in with like an agenda or like i didn't research who was going to be on the panel before and like come up with questions for them and yeah i kind of like i wasn't very strategic about the event i just kind of went and like was going to take whatever came which is totally fine but i think in situations like that in order to make the most of networking events you really kind of have to go in with a plan and like see what you want to do so that was just like a lesson that i took that maybe next time i should be a bit more intentional and strategic with like what i want to get out of it but i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow so i'm gonna end this work week in my life here it was so fun hanging out with you guys this week i feel like it was a good week getting back into routine and everything yeah thanks for watching subscribe for new videos every sunday and wednesday and i'll catch up with you guys next time bye